Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're continuing where we left off on my Miu Mini Plus review and doing a custom OS install on the Plus. Like I mentioned in the review video, the Miu Mini and Mini Plus have great community support. A lot of people love this little device and like other handheld emulators, took it upon themselves to make the player experience even better. The custom firmware we're going to be installing is called Onion OS. Before I get started, I just want to state that there are a lot of videos and websites covering Onion OS more in depth. Ones that I viewed specifically to get things going were Retro Gaming Corp and the official Onion OS GitHub. Retro Gaming Corp makes awesome videos and also pairs those videos with written guides, so if you need any in-depth guides, he's the guy to look out for. To start off, the Miu Mini Plus is ready to play out of the box. It's full of features and ROMs for a large amount of retro systems, and I think that alone makes the device worth to buy. If you're like me and are more comfortable with the emulation side of things, you might want to take it a step further and upgrade the device to let's say a better version of itself. Onion OS is open sourced and it was made by a handful of people. They made a new operating system to sit on top of the hardware for the Plus and let me say, it's awesome. Now, I'm gonna do a quick straight to the point walkthrough to show you how easy it is to upgrade. This is for the Miu Mini Plus. I believe it's pretty similar for the Miu Mini but the firmware version and files will be different. Depending on when you get the device, you might need to upgrade the firmware. You'll need at least a May 2023 firmware to upgrade at this time of recording. I got my device recently, so I was good to go. If for some reason you have an older version firmware, you'll need to upgrade the firmware before beginning. The two websites I mentioned tell you how to do this, but it's essentially a drag and drop file onto the device's SD card and a reboot, but read the guides because that's more accurate. Okay, so the Miu menu comes with a 64 gigabyte card and it's kinda poopy. I recommend getting a name brand card because the cheaper SD cards have a habit of just dying. I had this happen to me on my analog pocket before and it sucks to lose all your data. I went with a 128GB SanDisk card. This might be overkill depending on what you're planning on playing, but it's about that time of year when this card is like $12, so I was like, why not? And just to make it clear, so far we haven't touched the Miu Mini Plus yet, and we won't for a little bit. The original SD card is still in there. So we take our new SD card and reformat it. Depending on the computer you're using, this will differ. For Windows, you'll need to download a software, most of them are free, that can reformat it to FAT32. I have a Mac, so all I had to use was Disk Utility and format it to MS-DOS, which is FAT. After this, the SD card is ready. So we head over to the Onion OS GitHub page and download the latest version. Once it's downloading, unzip the file, open the folder to where you'll see all six subfolders, then put that onto the SD card. I didn't know this and just placed the whole Onion OS folder on the card, but the Miu Mini Plus can't dive into the folder to find the subfolders, so you're going to have to open it up like I mentioned before and make sure all six of the folders are in the root of the drive. So we're already halfway done and we still really haven't done anything. So far so easy. At this point, we can power off the Miu Mini Plus, remove the fart SD card, and place the new one in there. Power the device on and watch the install process unravel. It's not a long process at all and once it installs it will walk you through some setting options. This is where you can choose what devices you want to emulate and all this will do is generate a folder for the device so you can add ROMs to them later. There's also some other things in here that are better explained on the Onion OS website so I won't go into detail but just know that this menu can be accessed at any time after this. You're not put on the spot to pick everything now. If you want to go back and add or remove something you can. So once all your settings are picked you'll realize you have no game. You need some. Power the device off and put the SD card back into the computer. The SD card file structure is very straightforward. There's a ROMs folder where you put your ROMs. Some of the system names might be different for different region versions, but again, the Onion OS GitHub is your best friend at this point. You can do two things from here. Add your own ROMs and BIOS files, or take the ones that were on the old SD card that came with the system. I did a combination of both. I added my own BIOS file for PS1, which is super easy, you just have to drag and drop it into the BIOS folder. I also added some of my own games, but carried a bunch over from the original SD card because I was lazy. Now I've heard people state, oh the ROMs aren't good quality, but they ran well for me so whatever. But I did make sure to rename them to get rid of the annoying numbering they had in the title. The Onion OS GitHub has everything. You can find themes, apps, ports even. It's everything's on there. So it's a great place to load up on things for your Miu Mini Plus. And at this point, I mean, we're done. We can eject the card, put it in your device, go to the games tab, hit select and refresh, and all your ROMs should be there. If something doesn't show up, I'd retrace my steps and make sure it's a good ROM and also that it was placed in the correct folder. 
but I personally had no issues so far. Alright guys, that was my quick little walk through the Onion OS install on the Miu Mini Plus, and I've got to say, this upgrade has made the system way better. Onion OS has a little picture stored on the device that shows you the new button shortcuts, but they're essentially the menu button plus something else. You have so many little features built into the device, it's awesome. You have a game selector mode that lets you hop in and out of games, save and load states, fast forward and rewind, screen resizing, I mean, you have it all. There's also a scraper feature that lets you download box art straight to your device with Wi-Fi. I personally don't care for box art, so I didn't do this. As mentioned before, I found Retro Game Corp and the Onion OS page to be the most helpful, so I'd give those a look if you're interested. And also, let me know what you guys think. If you plan on getting a Miu Mini Plus, are you planning on doing the Onion OS install as well? If you have a Plus, are you more confident to make the upgrade? I think this is a great opportunity to get into emulation and directory navigation if you haven't yet because this process is pretty similar across all devices. I'm interested to see what you guys think. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to show support and stay tuned for future content, please click the sub button. I can't make you do it, but I mean it is free. Enjoy gaming wherever you guys can. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, thanks, bye.